Let's go back to your China travel. What did you do during your stay? Sure, uh, Michelle. First of all, <laughs> let's be clear. I didn't leave China yet, and I'm finishing my MBA studies in Finland. But my intention uh, is to stay connected with China, and uh, uh, once I graduate, I want to work and do a lot of business with China as well. Mm. At the university, at Jinan University, mm-hmm. we were actually told by many professors that guys, look, uh, China is going uh, totally opening, especially uh, with European countries. And I already met and interviewed people from Netherlands, Germany, Switzerland, uh, and other countries. Many people tell me that one of the greatest achievements is that actually I can just show my the passport and arrive to China without having visa for 15 days. And me as a citizen of Finland, Also, I wish I wish we would have the same, even further things, because 15 days is not enough uh, for doing business. I believe we would need to have more uh, clear path how we can actually establish ourselves as uh, business entrepreneurs. When I was meeting the government of Shaoguan as the part of the delegation of European Union, they actually showed us that hey guys, we actually have the talent, and if you Uh, fulfill the requirements. Uh, you can get a scholarship here. You can get uh, uh, government support here, and they have budget for it, and they have vision for that, and they have requirements for that. But how to actually proceed further? This is the question I have right now, because uh, sometimes they're only open for big corporations. But what about startups? What about innovators? What about innovations? Because this has actually happened with small teams. You need to. Make the environment for people to create things. That's why actually I've witnessed a great thing the Guangdong province actually did together with Macau and Hong Kong at the incubator startup incubator, uh, right? Uh, they di- they give for three years they give uh, premises for small teams to operate here in Guangzhou. That was actually really cool. And then I also was fascinated how actually the collaboration between uh, Finland, Sweden, Germany, Spain, and this region, Guangdong, is operating at work.